an artificial hand that doesn't just grip, it can see the object it's reaching for. The latest invention by scientists trying to give back to those who've lost a limb the power to pick up and use any object, no matter how small or how delicate. The person goes towards the object, takes, sends one pulse to trigger the camera, and then the hand works out the best grasp for it and then goes to that. So the process of that process that took about two, three seconds is now reduced to about 100 milliseconds. Electronic engineers at Newcastle University wanted to find a way for an artificial hand to anticipate the grip it would need to use and came up with the idea of fitting a camera that would take a still image of the object in front of it and then adapt its grasp automatically. Scientists hoping it'll be a step towards a prosthetic arm that can do whatever its wearer wants. Doug lost his arm to cancer 20 years ago. Until now, the best science had to offer him was a hand that could open or close in response to muscle movements. The prototype he's been using in the lab has been a revelation. There was an emotional part of this because obviously it, it, brought, it brought me back about 20 years, you know, thinking, you know, my hand was there 20 years ago and now it isn't. And, uh, but I have to admit, there was excitement as well, you know, uh, actually making this thing move or functional, you know, and uh, I was really, really, I, I was so amazed with the whole thing, yeah, yep. And it's the ability of a hand to grasp an object intuitively, its developers say, that makes us all human. No other species can actually rotate their thumb to go and grab it, not even our closest cousin, monkeys. So this is fundamental to being a human being? This is fundamental to being a human being, to be able to grab objects, to be able to oppose your thumb and, your, and, your, and, the, and the little finger. This is the fundamental aspect of being human. With every test, it gets better and better and learns more and more. Someday its inventors hope it will be within the grasp of anyone who needs it. Damon Green, ITV News, in Newcastle.